in Bosnia and Herzegovina, hundreds of sculptures dedicated to the Battle of Yugoslavia against Nazi Germany are being destroyed or left to decay. It's creating fears memories of the past could be lost forever. On a mountain in northern Bosnia and Herzegovina sits Maklen. The gigantic monument was made 40 years ago to commemorate the fight of Yugoslav partisans against Nazi Germany in the Second World War. But now, it's buried in rubble and covered with Nazi symbols. Unfortunately, many monumental complex sites in Bosnia-Herzegovina are devastated, destroyed or simply left to decay. So for many of the great monuments today, we can't really see any memorial value in them, or not even any art value in them. We are standing today in front of Barj Birdu, made to commemorate the start of the uprising in 1941. It's a typical example of anti-fascist architecture and it depicts a memory of a meeting where partisans decided to start an uprising. In the mountain of Kozara, western Bosnia, lies this monument to the revolution. It's dedicated to the battle of Yugoslav partisan fighters against German, Croatian and Hungarian fascists in 1942. The memorial sculpture represents a fight of light and darkness. This monument was financed only by donations from people of the former Yugoslavia. All of its republics, all of its cities, companies gave money, institutions gave money, people gave money to build this monument here. One of the most preserved monuments from this era is Sutjeska, part of a national park in eastern Bosnia. The battle that marked the final fall of German occupation took place here. Partisans were besieged, but after one month managed to break the siege and even liberate several nearby towns. This is all fascinating, monuments in this national park here. The story of partisans who used guerrilla tactics to fight the siege of the Germans, this is also fascinating. The feeling here is such that I thought that the battle happened like only a few days ago, and not so many years ago. Being here feels like it's not 2017 at all. The main monument, two huge carved stones, symbolize a path that partisans took in 1943 to break the siege. They're shaped well and they're sending a much greater message compared to modern built monuments. It's a wider opinion that these old partisan monuments, and Yugoslavia is famous for them, leave a much stronger impression compared to new ones built with modern architectural expression. Millions of people from the Balkans and abroad visited these memorials during the 1970s and 80s. But since the beginning of the 90s and the bloody dissolution of Yugoslavia, Things have changed. The glorious past of this small nation's stand against fascism seems to be moving towards oblivion. <laughs>